Hi, Gloriana. How you doing? All right. Good to see you. Um, okay, so I've got your work right up here, and I've got the JPEG loaded up in another window. So let's just jump right over there right now, and we'll take a look. Okay, I think, Gloriana, the first thing, obvious thing is that the letters aren't filled. Um, so there's no fill. This is called a stroke, and the interior would be called a fill. So we want to fill that with black. Um, be sure that you do that. I think your letter forms look good. I mean, they're really, really super consistent. Um, I think another one of the most obvious things that we see here is that the baseline, the mean line, and the cap line aren't necessarily straight. Um, the mean line is, is should be drawn at the X height of the lowercase letters. So this mean line should connect the tops of these letters right here. Um, and then again, the fill. Now, it's really important to get that baseline perfectly level and, and uh, perfectly straight. Right now, it's not, so it's throwing everything off. As we can see, this is higher than this. So the letter forms look a little bit um, inconsistent. So I would recommend getting really getting at that straight. I mean, if, I think the best way to do it is draw a dot here with your pencil, with your uh, a marker or your pencil draw a dot here here and here and then connect them now listen i know that the uh, instructions say uh don't use a straight edge but if you need to use a straight edge to establish a straight baseline have at it please it's more important to me that you that you get a perfectly straight baseline in order to establish the rest of the mechanics of the letters and, and it all resides on the baseline so um, um it, a, a perfectly straight and level baseline is the beginning of success um, in the formula for this particular assignment and the next. So, uh, yeah, so, okay, straighten out that baseline, get that uh, um, a mean line, make sure that connects the lowercase um, uh, letters. All right, and th at that point, I would say your letter spacing right now looks pretty darn good. I have, if, have you had previous experience with letter spacing? Because I think it's, this is excellent. Um, you're not too close and you're not too far. The individual relationships could improve in this regard. And this is a formula I want you to take forward with you in your typographic knowledge from now until the end of time. Proper kerning for, for sans serif uh, uh, typefaces is this. The closest space would you would establish between two curved letter forms. Okay, then a little bit wider than that. Not when I say a little bit, it really shouldn't really even be noticeable. This should look perfectly natural, but this should be closest, and the illusion will be that they're a little that they're natural. But what you want to do is make sure that the clo the curved letter forms are closest. Then the next closest would be a straight with a curved, and then the widest would be two straights. So you have, as you can see, you have a little bit of adjusting to do here, and that's great for Sunday's um, submission. Um, Another thing you want to do is, is just make sure that your verticals are true verticals. Some of the, this is on a, a little bit of a diagonal here, as is this, and make sure that your strokes are are um, consistent. So, for example, ba, 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 ba. yeah, right here, that's a little bit thinner right here, that stroke and that stroke right there. So other than that, it's a fantastic start, really good job. Um, just work on craft a little bit. Uh, let's get those letters filled in. Work on your true horizontals, your true verticals, and consistency. And then let's get that X, um, that uh, mean line placed appropriately, and we'll take it from there. All right, really good start so far. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please let me know, and I'll be glad to make any clarifications needed. Thank you very much.